In this video, I'm going to compare between DeepSeq and the ChatGPT, uh, which is free version I'm utilizing right now. So basically, what is DeepSeq? And you guys already know about the ChatGPT. So DeepSeq is the Chinese AI app that has the all talking about. DeepSeq is a Chinese artificial intelligence AI model. Right now, if you're looking for the app store that download has been significantly high so the latest version what was released on 20 january so which is 2025 that quickly impressing ai expert before it got to attention of the entire tech industry and then the world as well so in this video i'm gonna show you the comparison between the what exactly we're looking for here and then you know the pricing and then you so on even though the sam Hellman was also you know tweeting about the deep seeker so which is really impressive model particularly about the delivering the price so so basically if we compare between the ChatGPT and the comparison between the ChatGPT Plus and ChatGPT Pro. So if you're looking for what with the $20 per month and then ChatGPT Pro is $200 per month. We go with the same version so it is completely free. So you can basically utilize the free version. And also in the meantime, I am going to show you AI pricing. So if you're looking for the AI pricing, this kind of comes together. Here is the uh, DeepSeq chat is context length is 64K. And then if there is a max output tokens at 8K, that comes from one, one M means 1 million tokens input price, which is 0 0.014 dollars and then same wise you can also check the usd price between the models and pricing even though it is very cool uh, which is significantly challenging the chat gpt as well so if you're looking for the similar way for the api here so what i'm gonna also share with you is the right here so the api right here api login there are like a different types of models with the open ai 01 open ai 01 mini chat gpd4 chat gpd4 zero mini so so on and then also if you're looking for the the ai models right here is different types like i mentioned earlier but it doesn't say the price here to be honest with you there's nothing price comparison but however it comes significantly cheaper than the chat GPT. Here I'm gonna show you some basic commands that really helpful for the chat GPT prompts side by side and then uh, DeepSeq as well. In this DeepSeq, it is also very reasonable with the model. So, I mean, for the for the API call, you can usually use URL, Python, and then you can invoke this command, and then you can start importing the OpenAI, and then with the DeepSeq API key. I mean, which is really cool. DeepSeq is very significantly getting raised. Uh, in the meantime, there are like a lot of questions right now with the security region, so on and so forth. Just make sure don't put anything that need to be uh, compromised or something like that. This because like right now, now, it is very important to test everything but don't put anything sensitive information to the deep sake okay what I'm gonna do here I'm closing everything out so here's the comparison within the capabilities for the deep sake which is version 3 you can utilize all of this and then also it is saying that GPT-4, chat GPT, so on and so forth. So here's a comparison between chart. I'll put this link in the description below so you'll be able to see there. In the meantime, I'm going to close this and I'm just typing some prompt. You have to sign up for, for the deep sake if you haven't done it. So it needs your phone number or the email address. Likewise with the chat GPT as well. So I have already signed up for that, which is really cool. So you don't have to do anything. Just need to be email address and you can sign up uh, i'm gonna do right now with this with a free version of comparisons i haven't paid anything here so we'll compare between DeepSeq and the chat gpt so what i'm gonna do here is the i'm gonna ask DeepSeq to write poem okay write a poem about cyber security so what i'm gonna do exactly same thing here and we will put this information and then this information right here so this is the, the guidance of the digital age, guidance of digital 
uh, reclaim so i don't know exactly that similar related to that and then also you can copy this and then you can start typing or chatting whatever it is it is i don't know if if that is the exact same information but they're gathering same information with the digital eight is also nice with digital reclaim so a sign re so i kind of confused right now okay and also let me go with the cisco interface cisco interface ip address and i will also copy this here you can also say that all right so let's see what is exactly giving here so this is giving more additional information here so that is really good information so what we can do we can copy this and paste it it kind of similar right here but it kind of give you the exact information right here but it doesn't say anything in the in the type so interface you can if you're super you know lazy so you can just you can basically you can just copy paste and no shut down it's kind of similar though but it says the enable so which is bash command that is a router and then enable configure terminal but it doesn't say anything with the comparison between the terminal here so if you see right here so is ip brief and it also say the ip brief but no shutdown it, it gives more information here so i mean which is really cool it also given here with the explanation why this is important and then why is needed but if you see here it says the global configuration mode so i mean if you're giving information which is really important too if you don't know about the cisco uh, commands that are that gives explanation about that as well example here so which is example between this and that and then it is also giving the same information and but it is giving more information here which is after shutdown so i mean which is really cool the next one what i'm gonna ask is i will just copy and paste calculate the mortgage payment on a home that costs six hundred thousand with a 20 percent down located in los angeles california so i will do the same uh, here and then let's see the comparison between that okay so this and here everything has been calculated and then given to all the information that loan details and then let's see uh, what it says the standard loan mortgage formula uh, but you know it's kind of interesting here it is calculating as of October 2023 but let's see it says seven percent interest but it doesn't say anything more than that so it's give the you know more flexibility three years long term you know monthly mortgage payment it doesn't say anything um, on this one so it says six hundred thousand down payment loan amount typical uh, interest rate and then three years which is 360 month but it's also given here with a formula so i mean which is really cool it maybe it gives more the estimated monthly mortgage payment for the six hundred thousand home in los angeles within you know 20408 this include principal interest property tax and home insurance it's giving every information here the calculation but it doesn't say anything here it's just like curious that i'll give more credit to the deep sake so because you know the comparison between the calculation it gives more and let me ask the other questions regarding to the gdp so i'm gonna copy this and paste it here uh, with the same information let's see what it says okay so as of 2024 which is latest data okay which is understandable i think this is the you know 2023 base i believe it is not giving the more accurate information so that i believe that is 2023 and then you know 2024 which is i mean which is compared in between the 2024 and 2023 since you know 2025 depends on the information i believe it's kind of different though 2.2 the canada is 2.2 the canada is 2.1 vehicle mineral fuels machinery 
wood product and it, it's kind of interesting here so it says the information is estimated for 2024 but it says estimate 2023 credit goes to chat gpt so it's kind of more information is 2024 based on 2023 so let's say for the Deep sake, what time is it? And then I'll ask same questions regarding to what is time slash date. Let's do that. And date. Okay. So let's see what is in front. Let's see. That's funny. All right. So let's see. Okay. So if you see, I suggest getting online to get real time information. If you have any other questions, I mean, this is the winner will be chat GPT, you know, the current date and time. So which is today days, which is I'm recording right now, but it doesn't say anything here. Yeah. So it's really depends on you guys, how you can utilize that. So it depends on the, what's your purpose of this using deep So I really give you guys to decide what Whatever your purpose if you want to utilize more and obviously utilize the deep because it's more free and then also if you haven't subscribed my channel please subscribe and then hit the bell icon so once I upload new video you'll get the notification thank you for watching